guys, and thanks for stopping by my channel. So today's video, you probably didn't think I was going to do a dog food unboxing, but yet here we are. Um, so do you have a dog? Is your dog super picky? Titus, come here. Titus! He is literally always begging at my feet for me to pick him up. And the one time I need to show him to you guys, he's in the other room. Anyways, whatever, we'll move on. So I have a Chihuahua that is the pickiest dog I've ever had in my life. Before him, I had three dogs and they were so, they were good eaters. I actually had them on a raw diet. I tried so many times in so many different ways to get Titus, my Chihuahua, to eat raw and he won't do it. He won't do it. Um, I've tried starving him, <laughs> not like to the point of like dangerous because he is a small dog, but he's big enough that I'm not too concerned with hypoglycemia. I've never seen that in him, but I've tried, you know, withholding food for a few days. I have tried cooking part of the raw food. He wants absolutely nothing to do with it. So I've tried different kibbles. He does not want kibble. I have tried so many different kinds of canned foods. He does not like dog food at all. So you're probably wondering, well, what do you feed him? That's a good question because he's not skinny. <laughs> so if you don't already know, this is my Chihuahua Titus. And as you can see, he is a little chunky monkey. He's, he's not necessarily hugely overweight. He still has his tuck which is when this, but the part of the belly that goes up. So like his belly doesn't hang. It's hard to see here, but his belly doesn't hang when he's standing. It, it goes up, but could he lose maybe a pound or two? Absolutely. So how did I get him this fat? Well, <laughs> well, um, look at him. He, what's wrong, honey? What is it? You're fine. He suckers me into feeding him steak, burgers, stuff like that, which is not a, which is not a balanced diet. And I know this, but whenever we have steak or burgers and stuff like that, um, we set some aside for him that's not seasoned and we feed that to him. Not every day. He does eat a food and I'm going to show you which food that is here in a second, but when you look at this face and he's crying and he wants to eat, are you going to say no? No, of course not. So this is currently what I feed him and it's not cheap. I found this, you can see all my trash over here. What? No. <laughs> I found this company. I don't know how ambient induced stupor but it's called Only Natural Pet. And they have all different kinds of stuff. They sell all different, it's a, it's, you know, it's like a pet dog place. And um, they had a deal on Black Friday. So I stocked up because their food is not cheap. They also offer coupons and stuff. Also, I use Rakuten. I always try to use Rakuten when I shop online because then you get cash back every quarter. Um, so this is what I feed him. It is a freeze dried raw because I am a high, I highly, highly believe in the benefits of raw, but because my dog doesn't want to eat it, I have gone to freeze dried. So this is cage free chicken and liver. And as you can see, that's like the pieces it comes in. Now he won't eat this just on its own. I have to add, please don't yell at me cause I don't like it either but I have to add canned cat food and mix it with this for him to eat. So anyways, I bought three chicken and I think five beef, beef and tripe. Yes, pasture raised beef and tripe. Let me just say, guess how much this little bag costs? It is 10 ounces. 
Yeah. I don't want to talk about it. So, on Black Friday, as I was perusing the sales and whatnot, I saw another deal that I wanted to try. And this is a different dog food. This is, I believe, a cooked diet dog food. So this is food that's cooked for dogs. I have tried cooking for my dog. I have put good healthy ingredients in the crock pot and let it sit all day and make dog food for him. He doesn't want it. He doesn't want it. Gary's like, you don't even cook for me that often. I'm like, I know. I suck. Um, but this is called the farmer's dog. This is not the first dog food that I have tried that's cooked. The other food, I think, was, I can't remember, <laughs> but it was a different brand. He didn't like it. So we're gonna try this one. They guarantee, I think, they, they sent me an email saying, if your dog doesn't like it, please call us because we are picky dog food experts. I will believe that when I see it. I don't remember how much this was. Again, it was in the middle of the night, but they send you, do you hear Phoenix right now? They send you dog food weekly or bi-weekly. I don't remember now. I haven't looked at it yet because I was waiting to make a video that I bet maybe three people will watch. <laughs> but that's okay because we got to do it for content. All right. So this is what it looks like when you open it. And it says, this insulation is biodegradable. The foam is made of cornstarch. We'll wait. And can safely dissolve in the sink. Um, so you just cut it up and and what and run it under water and it'll dissolve. Oh, there's a bag in here. I didn't know I was getting a bag. So here is a bag. I put this in the freezer. I wasn't sure if I was supposed to freeze it or not, but but I wasn't ready to film when it came. But here is the bag. Oh, and it's got a zipper. That's like a massive size amount of space there. <laughs> I only have a Chihuahua. Uh, okay, so I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with that. And then they have, what is this? Oh, look at this. They even put his name on it. Titus's feeding guide. This box contains 16 days worth of Titus's food. Packs take 12 hours to defrost and are fridge safe for up to four days. We recommend using a resealable container to store open packs in the fridge. And then it just kind of shows you what you're supposed to do. Pretty simple. And then they give you this little pamphlet about how to start. And then if you need them, I don't know what this is supposed to be though. Like, am I supposed to store his food in this? Oh, it's definitely cardboard material, recyclable, which is nice. Oh, look at the little packages. Look. So uh, this is, so he's supposed to eat a fourth of a pack per day. See that? Um, so this was packed on November 30th. It is feed within four months, real food, made fresh. Keep, oh, it, it is, it does say keep frozen. So I did the right thing. So I got the beef recipe. It's cold. One, two. We got turkey recipe. Oh, it's so cold. Oh, and pork recipe. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Okay, and the rest of the box inside is just dry ice and insulation. So I don't, I'll see if I can find how much I paid for this because this is a meal subscription plan. So 
if he eats it, then I will continue it. And if he doesn't want to eat it, I will cancel it. But they sent me four packs and I'm supposed to feed him a fourth of a pack every day. And then they will send me another box in two weeks, one week, two weeks. And so this is kind of nice because if you don't have a lot of space, I have three freezers for the dog food. <laughs> it's a long story. But um, if you don't have space, these are really nice because they're flat. You could put them in your freezer and they come fresh all the time. So anyways, that is the story of my dog food purchase. <laughs> are we not all impressed? This is the most interesting video I've ever done. Anyways, I'm going to, when it's time to feed Titus, I will put a clip of how that goes at the end of this video. So thank you so much for putting up with me, hanging out with me, putting up with my weirdness, my randomness, my shenanigans, the, the screaming parrot. <laughs> And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey. What do you think? Meow. I mean. <sighs> so good though. So good though. Oh. Yeah. Yum. Okay. Are you super spoiled? Yes. Oh, yum, 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 yum. You could eat out of the plate if you wanted to. I mean, I know this is better, but it seems like he likes it. I think, I think maybe with time, but then again, we've tried other meal plans like this and he didn't eat it, but this seems kind of like he likes it okay i'm gonna leave him alone and go jump in the shower and see what happens because <laughs> we're not doing this every day no we are not oh. once you start getting that appetite going then he's gonna have to make his own decisions <laughs> also i use a plate instead of a bowl because bowls can cause whisker stress for cats and dogs so if it's a flat surface, their whiskers are not constantly touching the sides. I've talked about this before on my channel, but it's worth re-mentioning if you haven't heard that yet. If you have a, a picky cat or dog, sometimes it's just a matter of switching bowls to plates. What do you think? You good? You like it? Come on.